Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day to you, depending where you are in the world. It is, uh, I'm live in London, it is approaching 11 o'clock p.m. Um, we're doing my nighttime devotion from the devotional called Lift Him Up, and the title today is called The Cross is the Center. The script reading comes from John 12, verse 32. And I, if I be lifted up, will draw all men unto me. The cross of Calvary challenges and will finally vanquish every earthly and hellish power. In the cross, all influence centers and from it all influence goes forth. It is the great center of attraction for on it Christ gave up his life for the human race. This sacrifice was offered for the purpose of restoring man to his original perfection. Yea, more, it was offered to give him an entire transformation of character, making him more than a conqueror. Those who in the strength of Christ overcome the great enemy of God and man will occupy a position in the heavenly courts above angels who have never fallen. Christ declares, I, if I be lifted up, will draw all men unto me. The cross, if the cross does not find an influence in its favour, it creates an influence. Through generations succeeding generation, the truth for this time is revealed as present truth. Christ on the cross was the medium whereby mercy and truth met together and righteousness and peace kissed each other. This is the means that is to move the world. In the plan of God, all the riches of heaven are to be drawn unto upon by men. Nothing in the treasury of divine resources is deemed too costly to accompany the great gift of the only begotten Son of God. Christ was empowered to breathe into fallen humanity the breath of life. Those who receive him will never hunger, they will never thirst. For greater joy than that found in Christ there cannot be. Study the words spoken by the Saviour from the Mount of Blessing. How the divine nature shone through his humanity as his lips uttered the benedictions upon those who were the objects of his mercy and love. He blessed them with a fullness that showed that he was drawing from the inexhaustible store of the richest treasures. The treasures of eternity were at his command. The Father committed the riches of heaven to him, and in the disposal of them he knew no bound. Those who accept him as their saviour, their redeemer, the prince of life, he acknowledges before the heavenly host, before the world's unfallen, and before the fallen world as his peculiar treasure. What is Christianity? God's instrumentality for the conversion of the sinner. Jesus will call to account everyone who is not brought under his control, who does not demonstrate in his life the influence of the cross of Calvary. Christ should be uplifted by those whom he has redeemed by dying on the cross a death of shame. He who has felt the power of the grace of Christ has a story to tell. He seeks to put in operation methods of work which will diffuse the gospel of Christ. Humanity, drawing its efficiency from the great source of wisdom, is made the instrumentality, the working agency through which the gospel exercises its transforming power 
on mind and heart. And I'm going to just go back on one, one small part, which is a huge, profound statement. What is Christianity? God's instrumentality for the conversion of the sinner. What is Christianity? God's instrumentality for the conversion of the sinner. I hope you understand that. If not, ponder upon it. 